people need to stay and work on the sea to perform various activities like installing or repairing an offshore structure or a subsea pipeline. To facilitate their work, vessels like accommodation and work barges are required to be stationed near offshore structures. These vessels act as a platform for personnel to live and also to carry out certain operations like lifting, pipe laying, etc. These vessels may be non-self-propelled and they might not have a dynamic positioning system. The wind, waves and current are common phenomena in ocean environment. Due to the effect of these phenomena, the vessel experiences forces. These forces cause oscillatory motions and also a slow drift motion of the vessel. A drifting vessel is dangerous both to the personnel on board and also to the surrounding installations. If the vessel's motion is not properly restrained, it may collide into the surrounding structures. In order to restrain the motions, a proper station keeping arrangement has to be made. One such arrangement is holding the vessel to the seabed by using mooring lines. A mooring line is a combination of steel wire ropes, chains, anchors working together to restrain the vessel by holding it to the ground. One end of the mooring line is connected to a winch on the vessel. The other end of the mooring line may be anchored to the seabed. Typically, eight number of mooring lines are used, which are spread around the vessel in all directions. Hence, they call it as a spread mooring system. In order to assess the performance of a mooring system in a given environment conditions, we perform mooring analysis. This way, we are also ensuring the safety. This mooring analysis can be performed using software. Though software requires modeling of certain key aspects or details. Let's look at them one by one. First key aspect is the site. Modeling the site includes modeling seabed profile, its depth from the mean sea surface, surrounding structures, subsea pipelines, etc. In most of the cases, it is not required to model the surrounding structures and subsea pipelines in high details. We can roughly model their effects and perform the mooring analysis. Whereas, the seabed has to be modeled reasonably accurate enough to get a realistic result. The second key aspect is the vessel. Modeling of the vessel include modeling its geometry, position, motions, and dynamics. Modeling dynamics include modeling the interaction of vessel with phenomena like wind, waves, and current. The third key aspect is the mooring system, which includes modeling the mooring lines, their connection to the vessels, anchor points, buoys, pennants, etc. These are to be modeled in detail with appropriate structural properties so that the performance of mooring system is simulated in a realistic manner. The fourth key aspect is the environment. Modeling the environment means defining the wind, wave and currents that are to be applied onto the vessel and the mooring system. We generally define various combination of wind, wave and currents as various cases. For each of the defined cases, the mooring analysis is performed and results are obtained. By processing the results, we check the safety. When I mean safety, I mean the safety of the vessel and the people on board it, the safety of the installation surrounding the vessel and the people on board them, the safety of the mooring system as a whole and the ocean environment. 